That's looking pretty good there. So what's my nightmare? Doc, what are you so worried about? The lawn looks really good. This is, uh, this is the end of May, and my lawn is just fabulous. This is fairway quality. Half inch cut, so thick, you can't get a finger through it. I'll explain what my nightmare is. Hold on one sec. Hey guys, this has been a very long five days. The fence project is finally done. I'm gonna do a video on the fence showing that construction. But one of the issues whenever you have construction on your lawn are nails and screws. <laughs> so uh, if you have a real mower, you know what I'm talking about, real mowers, it's blade on blade contact. And man, you do not want to be running over anything metal. Well, I've got to somehow check my entire lawn, every single inch of it, for little screws, washers, staples, nails. Uh, it's just a nightmare, dude. I mean, I'm not afraid of much in life. I mean, you know, old Jarhead, ex-Marine Doc. <laughs> Ain't nothing that scares me. This scares me, cutting this lawn. I was scared to death yesterday cutting this lawn uh, with all this construction stuff. I'm actually kind of surprised that the lawn survived as well as it did with as much, you know, wheelbarrows and foot traffic and everything else. It looks really good. So uh, anyways, I'll show you what I was worried about yesterday. By the way, if you haven't gotten the Bermuda Lawn Guide, basically all I did was follow the Bermuda Lawn Guide. It's free. Get the Bermuda Lawn Guide. This is PGF Complete and Humichar and Organic Matter. Uh, we put a little bit of super juice on it. Super juice I really won't start probably until next month. I'll start doing that, but crazy. Anyways, let me show you what I'm talking about. Well, my construction crew has just left. My fence is finally done. I don't know who's happier, me or the dogs. <laughs> Gosh, it started on Wednesday. Didn't start off that well. And today is Monday. And we're finally done with this huge fence. But I'm really pissed off. And you know why I'm pissed off? I'm not pissed off because of the fence, construction, or anything. I'll tell you why I'm mad. I just pushed publish on a video about carpenter bees and showing these traps. And the wife and I came out here to sort of walk around and inspect the yard and look. And guess what? Look what I found. I'm like, really? I couldn't have waited 20 minutes and gotten that on film? That is so cool. But I was telling the wife, I was like, really? I couldn't have waited 20 minutes? Because right after I published that video. Anyways, today we're going to talk about yard construction, tree removal, those kind of things. Barb had some trees cut down a couple weeks ago and uh, intelligently, the tree guys kept putting it off and putting it off saying her yard was too wet. I was kind of surprised. And they waited until they had a full week of no rain because they're bringing big trucks on her yard. Even still, there's rut marks over there. So I don't let anybody drive on my lawn, period. If I have to have a tree come down, we gotta figure out a way to get it down without having your, your crew come on my grass. But construction wise, just foot traffic foot traffic, wheelbarrows, all that kind of just crap that just, Bermuda does not like weight, heavy weight on it, period. It just does not like it. Um, the other thing you have to worry about, especially if you're real mow, are gonna be things like nails and screws and bolts. So I'm gonna show you, if you have a real mower, uh, I really suggest you get one of these things. It costs, including shipping to your door, it costs 70 bucks. And anytime you have any construction done, you can run it on your driveway, you can use it in your garage, you can use it in the shop, you can use it on your lawn. So let me go get it and let me show it to you. This thing works great. Okay, so here's what I was dreading. Real mowing after construction. And so I was trying to stay away from the fence. I was a good 10 yards away from my fence over there and I heard a clank. And guess what I hit? Thank God I didn't get metal on metal. So I shut down my real motor. I went inside, I went to Amazon, I clicked buy. This thing got here 
the next day or day after. I have one at the shop. It's a small one, but I wanted a big one. This is a 36 inch. Um, I'll put a link to it in the, in the, on the page below. I'll link to this and all the other crap I'm talking about. But this thing is pretty good. Um, you can adjust the height of this. So if you want it really low for like a shop, so you can see where I've got that height. I've got real short Bermuda. Let me turn it the other way. So I've got real short Bermuda. And so I had to kind of lower it a bit. But all I'm doing is basically just pushing this around and waiting for clinks. That's all I'm doing. So let me give you, let me give you an example. Oop. Look at that. Look at that right there. Staple and a tag with a staple and another staple. <laughs> that didn't even sound another staple. By the way, let's just get right to the point. So far, this is what I've found on my lawn. And to be honest, it's not really the construction crew's fault because I couldn't see them, otherwise I would have picked them up. Let me just take one of these like screws here and show you. And again, I can pull this handle and it will release it. <laughs> Man, there's all kinds of metal here. Okay. So, uh, I'll be honest, I really don't feel like cutting the grass today. <laughs> it's been such a tiring couple days with all this fence installation. But, uh, I've got so much seed head activity because my lawn is so healthy right now. There's a debate whether your lawn produces seed heads, whether it's healthy or not healthy. And I'm just telling you, my lawn is healthy as heck. And man, she's putting off some seed heads. Oh, I'm so glad I'm teaching you how to do this right. Well, what I was afraid of actually happened. I'm going along in an area that's in, almost in the middle of the yard and clank. <laughs> Out of the corner of my eye, I see something kind of black shoot off. I'm like, oh no. So now I'm wondering, did I damage a blade? Do I got a chip in it? So, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to push along here. I saw it shoot out somewhere in this area. See if we can hear it. <laughs> I've walked this whole area where I thought I saw it shoot out three times with that magnet. I don't know if it's something that's not magnetic. But, uh, or did it go in the actual bin? All right, let's see if you can see it. Right there next to my fingertip. See that little chip? And then I can see one way down in on the bed knife. I can see where it hit, so. Great. It's not a big deal. You can just file that stuff off, but still, it just makes me angry. You go through all this work and you still miss something like that. Gosh, I hate like, doing construction stuff around my yard. So it's actually the next day, battling rain, but so far, this is my yard inventory. Look at this stuff. And that's probably not from them, that's probably from one of my units. So, 
probably wasn't a bad idea to run it anyway. What's crazy is, is you know, you'd think that the everything would be located right near the fence, but it's not. I found one. I found a, I found a screw way down there in the middle of the yard. So, yeah, the duck's kind of freaking out, man. So I'm really just out here doing another pass on the front before I cut it. If the sun ever comes out, I'm going to cut this today. So what's crazy is you would think that you'd find screws and nails up over here. <laughs> but that first clank that I ever heard, which luckily didn't damage the blades, was actually there was a screw way over here. I don't know how it got there. Anyways, fence looks good. I'll do a full fence video. Hit subscribe, by the way. Uh, you don't want to miss that fence video because I'll sort of walk you through it step by step. And we'll talk about the good and the bad about it. Both out here on your new fence yard. Isn't that nice? You guys happy now? Mm -hmm. You guys happy you have a fence? I bet. Time to go lizard hunting. Time to go lizard hunting. So predictable. Anyways, uh, I'm getting ready to shoot another video, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about this green over here, and what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about bare areas where you might have a lot of sand from leveling and how you can fix those because a lot of people use plain sand or even a sand mixture, and the Bermuda doesn't want to grow into that. I mean, plants don't like to grow in sand. So how do we fix that? So my green looks kind of ugly right now for a reason. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna come out here and put a layer of organic matter and humichar on this. Then I'll spray a little bit of super juice on it just to sort of perk up everything. And those sand areas, because there's areas in here that are more sand than not. And uh, I need to get some more organic matter into that area. So. I'll shoot that video next and I'll probably put that up tomorrow. So hit subscribe so you don't miss that one. We gotta pressure wash the pool. I think Jesse's gonna come over and help me with that. Jesse's gotta fix the garden and have her work on the garden. We got real cutting, we gotta cut a ton of lawns. We got these rain, this rain is like every four hours we're getting a rain and we can't get out here and cut the grass. But look at, just for anyone who's interested, now this is from seed a few weeks ago. I guess these are what zucchinis. Look at them all. Look at all those zucchinis in there. <laughs> and again, this is from the humichar stuff we did. And I got my first pea. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Look. I got my first peas. Look at that. Oh, I love these things. These things never make it inside. They never make it inside. Oh, that's so good. Wow, like little snow peas. I think I'm kidding. I'll come out here. Sorry. I'll just eat these things like candy. I love them. Both of these humichar piles are now completely processed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Jesse come in and pull all this old straw out. We're going to lay some more of that human char compost in here. I mean, look at these green pepper plants. Every single one of them has green peppers on it. I already harvested two. Look at the amount of tomatoes I have. I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at all those tomatoes. It is just crazy in here. I got my first, now this is from seed cucumber. It was only planted a couple weeks ago. First cucumber. So if you're not doing this humichar compost thing that we talk about, you need to try it. So many people are doing it now. And they're like, hey, it works. And the pile got up to 130 degrees. I'm telling you it works. Anyways, guys, I'm just out here babbling because it's crappy weather and I need some sunshine. Hit subscribe. Talk to you later. Talk.